Hey, you beautiful people. This is Lisa sharing life stories with you and all their bunch of bullshit. How's everybody doing? Trying to get back. Like, I just had a lot of things. My husband getting in an accident. That cat. And I'm praying to God. I'm so afraid to be here. So deathly afraid. I want to just keep looking down. Is that a bug? That's a mosquito. There's mosquitoes out. Wow. And it's cold. Um, I just want to look down. Because I do not want to see that cat. I'm praying to God that he answered my prayers and took that cat. Nothing should suffer like that. You, I, nobody. I'm praying that that cat is with my Lord Jesus in Jesus' name. It shall be done. Amen. Because I can't take it. I don't want nothing to hurt for a microscope stupid minute. Animals that shouldn't be outside like that have such a hard life people just don't even know um yeah I just wanted to jump on here and say hi to everybody um the lady I work with just she's got a headache or something she's just worked too many days in a row she needs she needs to cool it because she just, she just does not look good at all. She's not good at all. She's worked 12, 13 days in a row. See, they only had these size cups. And like I, excuse me, like I told, I'm trying to see if it's raining again. Looking at a pond of water, you know, you can see if a couple drops start coming. I told them the people that work up that Circle K, that manager shouldn't have that job. I go, he, no store you go into, there's a wall of cups. There's no cups left. The only kind of cups they had are plastic clear cups, but you're not supposed to use that for the fountain pop. You're supposed to use a styrofoam because a styrofoam does keep a cold so much longer. I told 7-Eleven, I go, that's why I stopped going there because they don't have styrofoam cups. So I got them clear plastic cups and they're not the same. This stuff really does keep your stuff cold for two, three, four hours. I wouldn't say four. But I'd say every good a bit uh, between two and a half and three. That's a long time. Ice. That crushed ice there is a, is a winner because it's filtered and the taste on it is just, oh, excuse me. Um, what else I want to tell you guys? Somebody said they found my channel. They go, what do they say to me? They go, they don't know why they found my channel, but they're glad they did. And thank you. Thank you. Welcome for being here. Look, we're, we really are all in this shit together. We really are. And people stop saying Democratic, Republican, because you sound stupid. I go, why are people mean? No, it isn't that. People are mean for no damn reason because they can get away with it. If they had a hot poker up their ass, they wouldn't be doing that shit, would they? Um, another thing that happened that threw me way off, I could not find my YouTube studio. My God, when you have something like that and it's taken away from you, you realize how much you miss it. I couldn't find my subscriber count. I couldn't find my watch hour count. I reinstalled it, and it's okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because I, I almost ended up paying for it. I shouldn't have to pay for the. Oh my gosh, I don't know. That and that cat. That cat's the biggest thing. I do not want to see it. I want to see it in heaven. I, I want Alfred to be there. I just get so nervous because <sighs> I have to carry her in here. If. I happen... Let me show you guys. There's no light in this car. If I happen to... If I can show you. I don't know if I could pick this up. Oh, my God. This is this lady's cage. Oh, my God. Can you guys see this? I can't pick it up. Ow. Any more than that. 
It's her. I gotta give it back to her like Sunday or Monday. Actually, I'll give it to her like Tuesday when I go back over her house. Because I gave stuff that lady in Detroit really made me mad today. And I'm just gonna let it go. She's very ignorant. She tells me the neighbor across the street, that Paul guy, says he hates me, all this stuff. Remember I told you guys about that? And then I'm taking the last food out of my shelves in my house to give to him. But he hates my guts. But then he's over her house. And she's telling me he's the one who stole her brother's bridge card as he's dying in the hospital. And I believe that because there was nobody else in the room other than the nurses and the doctors. They're not going to take How would they know what his PIN number is? It's, it's that guy. So, my husband's got like a case going because his neck is all screwed up. He can't take the job. He bought a used bumper today, almost $400. He don't even feel good enough to put it on. So now it's just going to sit. Um, I think he's going to fix the tail light. It's cracked, but it's something easy to fix. He don't feel good from being hit like that. He's got a cage in his neck and nuts and bolts and screws. And, you know... Yeah, it's starting to rain again. I see the rain. You know, it's it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame that that, that had to happen. Whew. I just hope better things come along. Oh, yeah, and so I couldn't find a YouTube studio, so that screwed me up. That cat messed me up more than anything. Being away from here for two days did my soul a world of good. And you know what I want to ask you guys? I really want to ask you this. I'm making this, like I said, because this this um, light is broken here. I sent away for a free Bible. Has anybody ever done that? And I don't know. My ex-boss is a really good guy. I need something that's easy to understand. Does anybody have an extra Bible they don't want? Would they be willing to send it to me? Something that's easy to understand... I would so appreciate it. I would so appreciate it because I have a feeling they're going to send me something that's going to be, I have a hard time understanding the Bible. I want something in layman's terms that's easier to understand, that I can start reading. I'm going to bring it every day to work with me. And like my Max boss said, even if you read a page a day, I'll be read more than a page a day. I might read two or three pages a day, but I want to really start reading the Bible have a highlighter and highlight stuff that stands out to me that makes me question not question God not understand it like so I can go back to it and find the true meaning you know like or or, or the what I don't understand so if anybody could part with something like that as a something that's a little easier to understand or bigger print or both I would so appreciate that. My foot had a pain in it all of a sudden. Yeah, but I just wanted to come on here and, and, and tell you guys how much I love you and I appreciate you, but you just don't realize how that screwed me up. I brought a bunch of cat food here today. I was fed them. These other animals, and there was a real beautiful reddish color cat. I don't know if it's stray or not. Because this, I wanted to show you guys, when that lady gives me temptations, these are $20, $25 size bags she gives me. And she left this whole bag here. She's so sweet. I threw it all around this parking lot. I'm going to throw the rest of it before I go out. So whoever is hungry can find it. And I put a whole little case of cat food out around here. And uh, I threw some of my food out. I'll throw the rest of this food out before I leave. So just in case this cat isn't, it could find, I just, uh. But um, this cat food I'm going to give to my cats tomorrow. Turkey and pasta recipe, Perina. So I'm going to save this one little can and give it to them goofballs in the morning because I got to go grocery shopping and get them more fancy feasts because they're brats. As I say it, as we speak, it's starting to rain again. So my husband, like I said, he'll, he'll be lucky if he can fix that. 
piece of plastic on his light. Um, but welcome to my channel. I do talk about some stuff like just everyday crap. Then I talk about important things or things. It's almost like, and I think I'm going to maybe kind of direct my channel more towards almost kind of a current events channel. You know why? That interests me. News and stuff. Just talk about everyday life and news, but have a lighthearted look at it and not be... Sometimes be more serious than others, but throw some... Like, look, okay, look it. Let's talk about this. O.J. Simpson passed away today. God rest his soul. Anybody's soul rest. But if he really did kill his wife, which we all think he did, and you're there meeting Jesus and God, and you're there, you have to repent, wouldn't that be a horrible feeling? I mean, just to know you did that to somebody... Or the hours before he was dying. Like, I wonder if that must have gone through his head. Fear. I guess that's the best way to say it. Fear of what you've done to somebody. Those two people didn't deserve to die like that. You know? Oh, that was just so sad. But he got to live out the rest of his life. Some of it in jail. Some of it free. She was a beautiful, beautiful woman. She didn't deserve that. And... I don't know who met her. Says she was very nice lady. She was funny and kind. You know, nobody. If, if somebody doesn't want to be with you, that isn't love. You can't steal love. You can't make somebody love you. If they don't want to love you, they're not worth your love. You got to look at things like that. If somebody doesn't want to love you, they're not worth your love. And you need to take your... And now, if you got faults and you got all kinds of hang-ups and stuff and you're screwed up, then you need to take a look at yourself and correct, correct and fix some of the things that are wrong with you to make yourself lovable. But I really want to maybe make this channel more... Lisa sharing life stories with you. More of a kind of a current events kind of a thing. Take... Talk about my everyday life or shit that happens and I show you and dumpster dive. But kind of take it in the direction. Talk about two, three, four things every day that kind of interests me that I see in the news and see what you guys think and feel about it. You know, like I said, for the OJ thing, what do you guys think about what I said about him? Like, what do you think and feel? And I don't want to make it like, this isn't going to be politics. It's going to be about current events and just people like how can I say this right or wrong Donald Trump let's say that let's say he's wrong or whatever uh, too many people have said he's such a con artist and I truly believe it his own niece his own niece everything can't be politically motivated I just don't believe that and you know, and this isn't about being. This has got nothing to do. See, that's the thing with politics. This has just got to do with his character as a person. I don't want to hear about Democratic or Republican. That's not where I'm going with this. As a person, he seems to be a lie, cheat, and a con. But he's likable. I don't know. Go figure. But that's how I truly feel. So I want to bring things like that every day and talk about certain bullet points. Things I hear off the news, things I hear off AM radio, things I hear in different states. Things like that so we can all talk, put our two cents in. Look, everybody's free. Oh, I got a major neck hitch. Everybody's free to comment on my channel. There's another mosquito. <laughs> Comment long as nobody abuses nobody, gets mean and violent. Let's be nice. Let's talk about where do you go? Where do you guys? What do you guys think if I'm going to take my channel in that little bit of a direction? I think it's kind of exciting. I think it gives me more things to talk about. I think we learn more about each other, we learn more about life. And I think this is what I always try to tell my friend. 
I go, you got to expand your mind. She don't want to read and don't want to do things. And I'm not knocking her. I love her to death. I love her to death. We grew up together. I always loved that little shit. I always remember her to this day. I always remember smelling her hair. Smelled like finesse conditioner. When we grew up. Because I used to sit in the bathroom while she'd do her hair. Get ready to go out with her boyfriends. And she was a cute little grasshopper. Um, and her hair always smelled pretty like finesse. And, and we have to, you know, talk girl talk bullshit. But I want to learn something new every day. And I want to take you guys along on that journey. So what do you guys think and feel? Not just dumpster diving, not just cooking, but more like, you know what? We're going to talk about this because that sparks my interest. And I think it will spark yours, plus all the other stuff mixed in. The food cooking, the dumpster diving, helping the lady in Detroit, you know, showing you my cats and stuff. I, I want my channel to encompass all that. So there's something for everybody on my channel. I want everybody's point of view. What do you think about me bringing a little bit of current events in every day, talking about everyday life? What happens to people, movie stars? What's happening to our earth? What's happening, you know, in the newsmakers? I don't want it to be politics, so I don't want it to be, you know, Democrats, Republicans, because both parties really need to be abolished and gotten rid of. And I'm not saying that I, I want anything to happen to anybody. I just think we need a new way. Uh, don't you guys agree we need a new way of doing stuff for the United States of, Graham, uh, of America? It shouldn't be Republicans, Democrats. Somehow we need to erase those names and work together like Democrat and Republicans all join together as one. And, 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 and I don't think we're going to be able to get it with any of the people that are in there. We need a whole new group of people that look at stuff differently. It's for the people, by the people. That has got lost somewhere down the road, and it needs to come back. Here comes the rain now. But give me some thoughts and ideas. What do you think about my channel? You know, new channel, a little bit more like current events every day. And just talking about life. And I think it's a great thing. And I want to know your input. And I love you. And I love every each and one of you. But I'm still going to say you sons of bitches. Because that's me. Alright. I love you guys. Have a great day. Give me your two cents. I want to know. Everybody chime in. Everybody better write something down here. Or uh, put a hot poker up your asses. <laughs> no, but come on. Just join in. I love you guys. Have a beautiful night. May God protect you all. Don't let me see that cat anywhere. Let it pass on and gone to our Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray and I believe that it's in a better place. I just can't take anything. You know what I'm saying? I love you guys. And that's let's let's hope and pray. I believe in God because I can't take anything, you know? Have a great day. And let me know what your thoughts are. Bye. Oh, and I am getting my iPhone next week. So, yeah. It's going to be end of next week sometime. But I'm getting it. Oh, my husband just got me two new purses. I think I showed you guys. They're not expensive. I thought they'd be bigger. But I still really like them. They're plain, but I like them. So, what do you think? I got to call my friend back in a second there. I'll call her right back. She's calling me. All right. Yeah. One's black and one's gold like this. But, they, hey, they do the job, right? All right. Let me know what you think. I love you guys. Tell me what, about the current events. Love you. Bye.